What up, awesome viewers? RJ here. We're gonna take a look at the uh, BSP D3, the D6, and the D8. So, big, big differences. Well, not as much from here to here as it is from here to here. So, let's start off. So the D3, this is the the, the cheapest one. Sh should be. Uh, this is completely my fault. So, yours will not look like that. Yours will probably look more like this analog stick right here. And not like this one. So, honestly, if you don't really mind the D-pad being not a D-pad and just actual buttons. Kind of like a switch controller. Should be fine. Especially if you have a folding phone. Works great. As you see, it works great. It also works this way too, you want to play it in DS mode. The, the right trigger, left triggers are digital. They're not analog. Uh, let me see. Probably the best that I can do given what I got. Come on. Come on, camera. There we go. So, it is digital, not analog. Does that matter? Maybe, maybe not. Really depends. Do you play a lot of racing games? Yes? Yeah, probably does. No? Probably not. So, there's that. Analog sticks. I don't think these are Hall triggers or Hall analog sticks. So, your mileage may vary. And the one I have is the uh, Genshin Impact one. This one has some nice designs to it. It's gray, still has power, and it lights up. So that's a pretty nice feature. So it lights up. It's got the... There we go. If you notice there, it's also an X and an A, a circle and a B, X and a square, a Y and a triangle. So that's pretty nice to have. They also have macro buttons on the back. And a QR code. I think this is for the software to program the macro buttons most most likely. This feels very light. How light does it feel? Let's find out. Hundred and thirty eight grams. So that's pretty light. Uh, it feels very light. That's all I cut out for the camera. There are there are these these sort of like a uh, placeholder with l little rubber pieces to hold the phone in place, but most likely you're gonna have a case, so I feel like for some reason if you feel that this isn't wide enough. <clears throat> you can always try to cut this off. I mean, these these are like plastic pieces there too. So, if you want to modify the controller, I feel like yeah, you can probably just cut them off, and it should be fine. <clears throat> it shouldn't be that big of a deal or issue. Oh, and it charges through USB C, which is also good. And there's there's a little pinhole right here. Right there. And you can use that to reset the controller in case if something happens. Nice feature to have. So onto the D6. Now with the D6, 
they basically took a couple steps forward. Um, I don't think it did any steps. Took a step back and a few steps forward. Okay, so the immediate step forward is actual D-pad. So I feel like for most people that is going to be a very big step forward. Uh, the buttons feel more more tactile. Still pretty mushy, but more tactile. Yeah, these ones are not that tactile. Much more tactile. Ah, uh, these are still digital, not analog. There we go. And so that is still digital. It's nice that they have an Astro D-pad, but it's, it's it's pretty all right. It's not it's not the best. This is the same. These little placeholders are the same. The camera cutout is the same. Uh, these they say it's 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 Haw sensing analog six. I don't know if it's Haw sensors. It's Haw sensing. So hopefully if that makes a difference. They're all right. Not the best there. You can't um, you can't find aim with them so you can do like up down left right that's fine but if you wanted to do any sort of like finer aim adjustments that's not gonna work so there's that uh, also has USB-C charging the pinhole reset the controller so it's very useful to have now, took uh, some more steps forward. A lot of steps forward. Now this one is the D8. And the D-pad is much, much better. Much better. The analog sticks are also much better. You can now find aim, which is good. And these are Hall sensors with a question mark. Maybe, hopefully. And these are now analog. They're not digital anymore. They are linear now. Yeah, so that's actually a really good thing. And the buttons are also improved. They are. Come on, camera. All right, probably as good as you're gonna get. They are tactile. And the mushiness is gone. These, these are just straight up tactile. And they feel good, they feel precise, they feel more Xbox controller like, more. I'm not saying exactly the same, but it's more like it, it feels good. D pad feels great, by the way. Like that. And it lights up. Now, one of the things that's pretty weird is the the select and the start so the select button is up here. Why is it up here? I don't know, but it's up here. Start button's down here. So I don't know why they do that. But it's like that. 
and also they have like a full pad now to keep your phone in place but most likely you use a case because this is huge like this is a tablet controller like this this is huge so yeah you don't have to worry about it fitting your phone or not because most likely it will it will still do DS mode but easily the main selling point is when you use something like a fold and you put it in the middle like this and now it feels console like I mean sure you can do it on on the top like that works too but kind of slide it down towards the middle like this oh now it feels great. It feels very console-like, which is very good. So there's that. I would say if you're in the market for any of these, just get this. Like this is probably your winner. Because they took everything that they learned from the previous controllers and improved upon it. They made it for tablets. That's great. And let's compare weight. So, hundred and thirty eight grams. Hundred and sixty eight grams. A hundred and eighty four grams, so they kind of jumped up a few. So this is closer to two hundred grams, but still a fairly light controller. It's not something that's like three hundred grams or something like that. It's it's not like a console size because of if you want to know a size of a console. I'll give you a size of console. 428 grams. That's the console. Want to know something for like a cell phone? 298 grams cell phone. So, honestly, 180 something grams. Not really that big of a deal. So, yeah. There's that. So overall, if you're in the market for either one of these, or any one of these, and the price is relatively similar, which I'm pretty sure they are, just get this one. Like, I highly recommend just get this one. This is probably going to be your best bet. Because if in the future, for some reason, if you want to use a tablet, you can. These ones, I don't think you can. So this you can. So can is a very good word. So anyways. Like what you see, want to pick any of these controllers up and support me at the same time. No extra cost to you, hopefully. Link down below. New to the channel, click subscribe, thumbs up, bell, content, like, comment, more content. You guys stay awesome.